Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Renegade of Wrestling. I am your host, J.J. Williams, here to bring you my thoughts on the week's worth of wrestling. Not a whole lot of news to talk about this week in pro wrestling. Over on Monday Night Raw, we had the Col... Does that say? Oh, yeah, Michael Cole getting knighted. I'm sorry, you know, got to work off a script a little bit here because Raw was just that shitty this week. Michael Cole got knighted by the Queen of England, one of the worst acting queens I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, so, Sir Michael Cole. Anyways. Raw also saw our truth turn heel. In what is probably the worst heel turn I think I've ever seen in my life. Dude turns heel by booming a smoke off of somebody in the crowd and smoking. Seriously, truth? You couldn't come up with anything better than that. I guess, you know, considering the gay rights groups that WWE is now in tight with, at least he didn't go on TV calling it a fag, since that is what it's known as in England. It's not a derogatory worm, it's slang for a cigarette. But I just know that, you know, the groups would have got all over him for doing that. Over on Tough Enough, we saw Michelle, one of my people I was rooting for since I met her a couple years back over at Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Her and her husband, Johnny Fairplay, came, sat in the crowd, chatted it up with everybody. She quit. I was sad to see her go, but her reasoning, you know, to get home to her baby, you know. I, I totally understand that being a dad. Check out Dads on Wrestling on the episode this Thursday. Being a father, you know, I understand where she's coming from. You know, she missed her kid. She missed her husband. You know, I kind of got on the guy from The Ultimate Fighter last week for doing the same thing and called him a pussy and everything, but that was still like the first episode, talking about, you know, I'm here and then just quitting and being a bitch. She actually toughed it out for about a month and was like, you know what, I, I need to get out of here. This isn't working for me. So, Michelle, hopefully the business will see you back soon. Take care. And then Mikhail, Michael, however you want to pronounce it, that freaking fruit booty got sent home. He was probably the biggest douche on Tough Enough. Looks like he's going to be on the next season of Tool Academy from what I'm reading on the internet. You know, definitely would be fit for that type of program. Over on SmackDown, we had brand new tag team champions. The Kane and, Kane and the Big Show upset the core, Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel. I don't really know if you could call it an upset since they've been tag champs before. But, you know, Slater and Gabriel had a real good thing going, man. I think it kind of sucks that they dropped the straps out of nowhere to Big Show and Kane. And that we also had Lay Cool breaking up. And to whoever it was that made that awesome video that I posted on Facebook, the Lay Cool rise and fall to Sarah McLaughlin's When She Loved Me from Toy Story 2. Well put together. That is probably the saddest song ever. And I was cracking up the entire video because of the clips they chose to make that with. Superb. Superb. Now, live and direct from Las Vegas, Nevada. Just touched down from the Cauliflower Alley Club. I want to bring in the lady killer Ray Larkin to help me talk about the Radar Superstar Edge's retirement party. Thanks for having me Renegade. I just came back from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada and let me tell you something. I sat next amongst legends. Legend, I'm talking Rowdy Rowdy Piper. I'm talking the Honky Tonk Man. I'm talking about Uncle Bob aka Sergeant Slaughter. That's what Rowdy Rowdy Piper calls him so that's he's Uncle Bob to all of us now. You know all the members. Awesome man, and um, like I said, Honky Tonk Man was there. Ricky the Dragon. Steamboat oh, you mean Honky Tonk there. actually showed up when he was supposed to? Yeah, he showed up on time. Because you know he was supposed to be at the Comic Con last year, and he decided to no show one day because nobody wanted to come and see who he was. Well, you know he he was in that faction DOA, Drunk on Arrival. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I guess Scott Hall's the leader of that. Scott Hall was the leader. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all know Stone Cold's a card carrying <laughs> member. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And you know what? I got a lot, you know, Stone Cold, the Rattlesnake. You know, for one straight up year, brother, I, I used to lay next to a Rattlesnake. 
my first wife. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, anyways, um, what we talk? Oh, Edge is retirement. We, we we apologize for the shaky camera work here. You know, I mean, we get the cameraman cracking up, and just sometimes he can't control it. <laughs> wow. Edge's retirement party. Oh, Edge's retirement party. First of all, let's. Just, I'm gonna just bullet through. Can I just bullet through the whole? Go right ahead, man. First of all, because you probably remember it better than I did. I was half falling asleep during SmackDown. Let me tell you, so we always have our disagreements. Here's one of them. I think WWE. He's better than ever, be as good as it was 10 years ago. I challenge Jeff Meacham to pull a SmackDown spoiler or Stat Boy if you're out there watching. Pull a whole episode, a whole episode of SmackDown, and we'll compare it to the SmackDown of today, and we will see what was better back then. I'm right here. What do you want? Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Take that lotion out of your hand. Oh. Take that lotion. <laughs> go, go, go full up. SmackDown. Whatever today's date is, to uh, two thousand uh, two thousand and one. Okay. And we'll pull two thousand and uh, eleven, and okay. we'll see which one was better. Okay. Just the basic smack. Next week, SmackDown and the SmackDown from last same time, s uh, around the same time. Check okay. that out. Okay. Next week on we'll the Rick and we're we'll gonna see. see. You got it. But anyways. Man. Okay. Uh, our truth uh, smoking a cigarette. What the hell's wrong with that? What the hell is wrong with WWE is supposed to be a PG company, man. <laughs> Somebody smoking a cigarette I, I, on TV is exactly Did the Rock and Austin not just come and like, step on that PG-19 rating? Hey, but you know what? I've been hearing that still trying to be a PG company. Everything that's been released, you know, you should know this as a stockholder, a shareholder. Yeah. WWE is still releasing that WWE is a <laughs> PG company. And we do not condone what happened. Have you seen stock prices lately? I've been putting covers <laughs> over my head every, every morning at I 7 a.m. I saw stock prices when they were having that 85% off blowout sale that, you know, I purchased this room. shirt on, this Bret Hart shirt. Plug, shameless plug, I got baby, this Hart Dynasty plug. hat for shameless free, plug. you know. <laughs> stock prices were going through the roof then, okay. but as soon as that sale ended, as soon as they stock price was, exactly. you know, as soon as they I can get like five stocks for a dollar now. <laughs> exactly. As soon as they stop pushing, TNA stock, stock is worth more right now than <laughs> WWE stock. Oh, man. <laughs> as soon as they stop pushing Zack Ryder, all hell broke loose. That's all I gotta say. Hey, all, all, I all, all I gotta baby. say, all I gotta say is yes, you know, you should know by now we filmed this on Monday before Raw, so I don't know what's getting happening right now on Raw with the draft and everything. Yeah. But I hope Zack Ryder gets picked off of superstars At and goes to, Rock <laughs> Smackdown. <laughs> Smackdown. Goes, to, goes to one of the big Either time, way. man. Go way. to the big time, Zack. Woo, woo, woo. woo, woo, woo. You know woo. it. No, no, you no. Know what? Shout out to Zack Ryder. Okay, tough Long enough. Long Island Z. Tough enough. Eric Watts. I mean, I had so much big hopes for this guy, this gentle giant man who, hey. you know, who's really great. As a human being, <clears throat> his, his personal life situation, it gets to my heart. However, as a WWE fan... As a mark, as whatever you like to call me out there, especially that guy who always hates on me, man. You can hate me now. Fuck you, you can hate me now. But I won't stop now. I hate you too. I hate you too. Okay, um, anyways, um, that guy, you know what? You don't come to a show called Tough Enough. And you can't even run up a mountain. You can't run up a hill. You can't run the ropes. You can't do anything. Man. I don't know, maybe it's the fro that's not making him aerodynamic. Oh, no. I don't know what the <laughs> hell it is. You know, maybe, the corn rolled up. Maybe, 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 yeah, maybe he needs the corn rolls, maybe he needs the R truth it up a bit, take yeah, the Yeah, get the braids going, get, down, get the braids going so the wind can run through the braids. Exactly. Number one contender shot, and just lose it to John Mars. <laughs> that's what he needs to do, I'm telling you. That's what we need to do. Okay, the rest of them sucked. Okay, now let's go on to SmackDown. Um, Smack, SmackDown, what did we have on SmackDown? We had... Uh, or, or, or real quickly, while we're on the subject of our truth man. Assuming that nothing major happened tonight, I need CM Punk. He needs to come and save our truth man. He needs to help him with the straight edge. <laughs> He does, but I also think he needs to turn face. What, what are you doing, cameraman? We don't smoke around here. Get <laughs> yeah. crap out of oh, here. Straight edge, man. We're did straight you, edge. Did you see episode like seven? We are one, we are <laughs> one, we will stand together. <laughs> don't you know what straight edge, man? Come on. Yeah. This is in the anyway, Archer Smackdown. Smackdown. Okay, exactly. Uh, Smackdown, uh, we got an appearance of Leah, the lovely Lita. Now, let me just tell you. She wasn't quite looking like that. A, lo a lot's changed. You know, a lot of trips through Krispy Kreme, a lot of trips through McDonald's and all that. It just <laughs> you know, it that. I was just you know, you know what? In all seriousness, we know that was a lead up, but I'm glad that I, Brodus Flo I'm glad that Brodus Clay's girlfriend could get a spot on the show. <laughs> Seriously, I, I was hoping for a live sex act. When, when she came out, I thought it was just gonna be some BBW love between Edge <laughs> and and Big Lita. That boy is curling in the bathroom. And, 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 <laughs> Okay, and big and big leader, but you know what? I think it's time for Christian to get pushed. 
I think it's time. It's for been time for Christian to get. I know. I, Captain I, I, Charisma <laughs> needs to show what he did when he was the NWA World Heavyweight <laughs> Champion over in that other company that yeah. no one seems to recognize. You know. <laughs> I don't know. And what yeah, exactly. What, what, I don't you know, know that that company where Jeff Hardy can go have a ladder match and snort lines of coke as he's going <laughs> oh, lockdown. Yeah, lockdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. lockdown. Yeah. He still ain't gotten locked down. But Kurt, go figure. Kurt Angle gets busted, and within like a month, he gets sentenced. Yeah. Jeff Hardy got busted like almost two years ago, and they still haven't <laughs> sentenced that guy to his freaking jail time. And what the hell? And John Morrison's always gonna be on Chris Benoit's doctor list. That's just the way it goes. Wow. wow. <laughs> I said his name, <coughs> John Morrison. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so in closing, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, being censored. Uh, in closing, I can't believe that Edge is gone. I, I love the farewell tour shirt. It's just, oh man, we're gonna do a tribute show. You promised yes, me. Yes, you yes. Promised me a tribute show. Look for a tribute show in the coming weeks here on Renegade Wrestling. Maybe on Dad's. We haven't quite decided which one we're gonna do that on yet because I know Jeff's probably got some stuff he wants to say. Some memories of Edge. Stop, the next stop couple stop of crying. weeks, maybe <laughs> maybe right around after Extreme Rules happens, you know, we'll we'll do an Edge tribute show. Promise. That works. Okay, so like I said, Del Rio, I just don't know <laughs> if they're just going to give him the belly. I, you know I'm the biggest Del Rio mark at this yeah. point, between between all of I don't think that clicks, the SmackDown right. pool can fit Del Rio, personally. I'm hoping he gets drafted to Raw. I'm hoping he stays on SmackDown and becomes the World Heavyweight Champion. Hey. Even though I know it's too fast, too soon, but... Jeez, the corporate call said he was the next Cena. There you go. But I guess you guys already knew that. All the haters out there, you already know that. <laughs> Well, I think that just about wraps up this episode Thanks this week. Thanks for having me. As always, Lady Killer, pleasure having you. Um, just a quick shout-out out there. Make sure you guys check out this week's episode of Dads on Wrestling, where myself and Jeff are going to be going over our thoughts on the draft. Everyone that got traded, I don't know if they're going to do a supplemental this year. God, no. But everything that goes down, me and Jeff are going to be giving our honest opinion, uncut, uncensored, just like we always do. So make sure you tune in on Thursday for that. I'm the Renegade of Wrestling. And that's the bottom line, because the lady killer said so. <laughs> See you next week.